Now here's the second phase of the surfboard. I got the top, the base down for the flake. We're gonna flake the top of this thing. And then uh, before we do that, I'm gonna get the base down for the bottom. We're doing candy violet on the bottom, UK 17. And we're gonna do some graphics. So let me flip this thing over. Got to get this uh, prepped out here real quick. It's not going to take me long. And I'm going to start laying out some tape. And that'll be the second portion of this video. Now we got this thing taped up top side so we don't get any overspray. We don't need any more paint than necessary up there. I'm just going to do a quick scuff, clean this up, get the base silver down for uh, the candy. It's just going to do, you know, really just grainy Ryan Silver House of Color stuff and that's the next phase I'll get that done. all right now we got this all silvered out we're ready to start doing our tape you know get our designs down the patterns I'll get that done shoot some more video then I'm gonna start layering the colors it's gonna be multi-layered color kind of low rider style graphic that we're doing on this thing and uh, we're going to do maybe something special with this. I'm not sure, but I'm going to figure something out. And we're going to keep moving forward. Now I got it all taped up. I started drawing out some patterns. And they ended up being more tribal than lowrider. But we're going to make a fusion kind of deal on this. And then I'm going to take these patterns, flip them over. This way they're, you know, reversed and symmetrical on the other side. I'm going to get these cut out, do that now, and then start uh, getting the first color painted and the rest of the taping done because it's going to be kind of intricate. So that's it. Uh, next time you see this board, uh, the first color will be on. The patterns are cut out. We're just going to go ahead and get the blue base coat that I'm going to put down sprayed. And there we go. That's going to be the first portion of this graphic scheme on the bottom we're doing candy violet if i haven't said it already and uh these are going to be some of the things that are going to be popping through let me get into this there's blue going down sun ain't spraying so great i'm always having issues with keeping them clean I don't know why I'm so bad at it, but I am. Seems like the pressure may be a little high. Turn that down just a little bit. I'm gonna check that. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I'll go ahead and cut this off so we don't have to hear the air pressure get this sprayed out, and then I'll do uh, some more video on the next phase. All right, for the next phase, we're gonna use marbleizer, silver white. We're gonna spray it on this, and then I'm gonna use bubble wrap to create the texture, not saran wrap. We want a bunch of little circles on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff laid down, and we'll just get the bubble wrapping. Getting it, you know, nice and coated. I actually got my gun spraying right. I took the time and I think a lot of times I'm rushing around, I forget to clean it so well because I'm hurrying up to deal with something else, which is no good. Now, I'm only going to do half of this at a time and get the bubble wrap. I'm going to let this sit for a minute and then uh, get a little bit tacked up. And now I'll put the wrap on. All right, laying this down, I simply just got to put it on there, kind of mash it into it. Obviously, I'm doing the bubble side down. This is a piece that's got a flat side. And these ones here, these little pieces down here for the end, they got the bubbles on both sides. But at least they're the same size bubbles. So that's all I'm doing is mashing them down. I'll give them a minute to dry up. And then I'm going to come back, repeat the process on the other side. Let's we'll see if we get a little peek under here, see how it's looking. And see how that looks it needs to be a little bit better it's not distinct enough now if it dries up you can re-wet it and uh i may do that let's see no nope, that looks pretty good i just needed to mash it more and you could be a little rude with it i guess 
get that pushed down. Get this piece pulled up. Let's see what we're looking like. Up here needs some more pushing. And you can work with it for a few minutes. Fortunately for me, right at the moment, I'm in a little bit of cooler temperature. Yeah, I'm liking it. Um, so it's working. Working in my favor, keeping this stuff wet. In the summertime, you got to do this quick, nice and fast. All right. Get that done. I want to cut this off, and I'll come back and film the other side. Now, check that out. That's uh, what it kind of looks like. Nice little texture. And it's all right to have some little voids in here and there. That just adds more dynamic to it. But it's looking pretty good. And that's how uh, I use Marbleizer and Bubble Wrap. I'll get this other side done. All right, here's the other side. Got that all done. I didn't video it. I didn't see the point. And I'm going to go ahead and unmask this. Uh, do a SG100 on it to cover the marbleizer so that that gets done. But we can start to see how this develops. You got to be a little bit careful. It's still kind of, still just a little wet. Let me get down there. All right, got that. So anyways, I'll go ahead and get this unmasked, shoot some more video here in a minute, and uh, keep on moving. And here it is, all unmasked. Now I'm going to keep this tape down in the center. I'm going to put a bunch of pinstriping stuff in there. And uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. This is just stage one. We're going to end up doing borderline taping. We're going to put in some graphics in here, here. We're going to fill in these voids. And uh, basically, that's where we're at. i got a lot of taping to do. I'll get uh, some little segments on that. But look at that. That's pretty good. Pretty interesting. And uh, I can't wait to start putting the candy on this thing. Okay, now I've started doing the fill-ins, the graphics here. I'm just using the eighth inch fine line. I got these kind of like sharp fins, both sides. And obviously everything's going to be symmetrical and match up. And I'll do some circles in here. I'm going to do uh, two other different effects of marbleizer. Uh, I'm going to do a brush stroke and I'm going to do an engine turn as well so i'm just going to keep on taping i just want to kind of introduce the next step and that is it for now i'll show some more when it's taped up all right i got the circle done down here with the compass and over here on this side right at the bottom of the compass i got a little piece of coffee stir because we don't want to damage the paint so i put that down it gives me traction so i'll hold that and i'll just kind of Gently do the circle. Hopefully I don't mess this up. It's just gonna take a second here because I gotta manipulate and everything's slippery. And what I'm doing is this is gonna be the outline that just moved. And it's okay. Because this is just a guideline. So I'll get that done here. And oh, we're in the ballpark. So anyways, the coffee stir is just a little thing to poke into and it's got a little bit of traction. I could have taped it down, but I don't really need to do that. So there's my circle, a little rough, but not perfect. But that's my guide. Okay, I got all the circles in here with the compass. I started taping out the patterns here on both sides, matching them up. These are gonna be filled with uh, the color and do the next marbleizer effect. The circles are going to get just straight marbleizer for the effect on top of the silver. But this is going to get blue with red, kind of make it purpley. And uh, there it is. I'm going to keep taping out the voids, getting that filled in. And then the next phase is getting uh, more color. Okay, now I got the fine line done for the next batch of marbleized painting done. And I tell you, I think I was lying. This is not even close to low rider. Just kind of ended up here. And I will say again, I never really know what I'm doing. I kind of have an idea and it just kind of transpires along the way. But uh, the next phase is getting this masked up, cutting it out. I'm going to do the circles first because they're smaller and I can back mask them quicker than doing all the bigger patterns. So 
I'm gonna get into finishing the masking up and cutting out, and then we'll do some more filming. Now I got the mask on, the circles cut out, which happen to look like a bunch of silver dollars, I guess. And uh, we're gonna get this marbleized sprayed, and we're gonna do this kind of engine turn effect down on these things. I'll do that, and I'll get some more video of uh, how I do that, so you can see that. All right, we're gonna get the silver white marbleizer down on these circles so we can do the engine turn kind of effect. So I'm gonna just start spraying. A little bit low pressure. It's hard to see it because it's white on the silver. We're gonna get it wet. Back here it's a little bit more noticeable. This little tiny one back here. I'm gonna just do one side at a time. Air hose is leaking, it's kind of annoying. I'm gonna take this brush here, which is just a cheap Chinese chipping brush. I'm gonna turn it on this. We'll see how it comes out. It is uh, silver white marbleizer over silver, so it may not show out real good. Just give it a gentle turn. And it's still too wet. But you see how the effect is. So I'll give that another minute and I'll come back and hit that again, sharpen those lines up. All right, there's the engine turn kind of effect on here. How it comes out, it flows out a little bit, but it's kind of cool. Just another technique of doing this stuff. So uh, anyways, I got the other side to do. I got, um, got the first phase done i'm pretty happy with it it's actually drying up i brought this over here in the warm and i'm going to start cutting out these patterns here and that's going to be the next color and the next marbleizer which is going to be a, another brush stroke effect and i'm just going to get this done i right, just put some of the sheet mask down on here and it started cutting out this a uh, First color will be blue, and then I'm going to do the marbleizer effect on there. It's going to be like a brush stroke deal. And I'm just going to keep on plucking. I will show this when we're spraying. All right, I got this uh, project here all cut out. We're going to get the next color on. I'm going to start spraying it. I'm going to start filming. The air compressor will probably kick on, but that's all right. Um, let's just get into it and get this thing spraying. Gotta so mess with the air pressure here a little bit. It seems to be running a little well. And there's the blue, um, it was House of Color FBC 04, the fine strato blue. And we're gonna get this on there. Red, red marbleizer. And uh, never done this combination, I hope it works. Well, we're gonna find out, but I'm gonna do a brush stroke on it. Uh, try to make it look, have like this uh, straight back and forth grain. And, uh, well, let's get into spraying it. There it is. Uh, I'm going to just take the brush, go over it. And I'm going to keep doing this until the stuff gets good and tacky and leaves some streaks. And that's what I'm trying to do here. Just back and forth. 
It's cold out, so my stuff's working a little bit more difficult. It's just another method of using this marbleizer. It kind of gives it a wood grainy kind of look. I don't know if I particularly like this combination, but I'm not going to complain too much. It's all going to go under candy violet, so this may be a little bit dark. But I got some serious contrast going on and I still got to do the pinstriping, border lining and everything else. So I'm not too concerned. But there it is. I'll show it when it's all finished. All right, there we have it. That's how it starts to look, shape up. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, again, I don't know about this color combination necessarily under uh, Candy Violet, but we're going to find out. Hopefully uh, there's some pretty good dynamic, but I think it's all in all it's going to add a texture to this overall project and uh, We'll see where it goes, but all in all I'm still pretty happy with it All right, I got the sheet mask removed and the, you can see how it's starting to develop the patterns and This is going to get candy violet over everything except for where the green tape is And you can see here uh, That's a good spot right there the little engine turn effect, the bubble wrap, and the brush stroke here. The three different effects of marbleizer. These are all going to be under candy. And then right down the middle where all this tape is, it's going to be pure pinstripe patterns all the way down. And I'll do some border lining. And this bottom side will be getting finished up. And I'll get that. But for right now, this is just really... Kind of where I'm at with the Marbleizer video and uh, the second video on this surfboard project. I'll do a candy video and then the, the top side of this board gets done as well as the fin.